My friends, for those of you who just watched me go live, I ended up losing it and not being able to post it because my phone died. Ugh, just a lot going on today. So um, I'm doing a different filter just so that you can uh, distinguish between the two. But basically, I just want to say, don't, uh, don't underestimate, don't underestimate Kamala Harris. The Three Ring Circus is changing. It's changing to a different ring now. We're going into identity politics season. So don't get caught up in it or baited by it. Uh, unless you think that it might help um, somebody to wake up who's close to you, you could, I guess, argue. But I kind of think arguing about her, uh, her ethnic makeup really isn't going to serve the cause of truth. And the cause of truth is that she's biracial. Kamala Harris is biracial. Her father is Jamaican and her mother is Indian, East Indian, right? From India. People in this country who are multiracial, unfortunately, this country has persisted in a very backwards way of looking at race compared to the rest of Europe. So people who are multiracial, if they have black, tend to identify as black. Uh, the reasons might be different than, you know, why the whole culture still, you know, deals in just in black and white as opposed to the rest of the world dealing in various shades, you know, of the earthy variety. Speaking of, this one has freckles, just, yeah, I look orange, orange woman, good. <laughs> I am Mango Mussolini, female version. <laughs> Hi, I lost the live video because my phone died right as I was about to hit post. You have to post them when you do it here on Instagram. So, hello, zdravstvo kak bo živajete? Minja sa v Tatiana. Um, Privet? No. <laughs> ja vas ljubljiv. Yes, I've leaned a little Russian over the years. The reason I'm saying it again is because I thought it was good to show. Like, I'm not xenophobic. I'm really trying to help all of us to awaken to the full truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, which I call, <laughs> Privet, thank you, I call complete facts. So, Kamala Harris is transferring over to a different mode as well. Do you remember the Kavanaugh hearings when she was in the Senate? And she'd be like, you know, um, it's a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question, like super nasty and everything. And then we never really found out what happened. Uh, poor connection over there. We never really got to the heart of the matter or the truth, which is really too bad. The FBI said, oh, we investigated Kavanaugh after like five minutes, you know. And it's not that I was against Kavanaugh, it's just that the truth will set you free. The truth will undivide. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm working toward the truth uh, for all of us. Okay. Um, but I was saying about the, um, all of the delegates that the New York Times reported that Kamala Harris had amassed by either Sunday, late, late Sunday or Monday. You know, Harris has already gotten the 5,000 delegates. Who, I might be saying the numbers wrong, but are you kidding me? It's been nine days since the assassination attempt and the director of the FBI can't even talk about the case because there are separate investigations. Yeah, you can just be pretty sure that we're never gonna hear more information. Are we surprised? This playbook's been going on since well before our beloved president JFK was shot. And so Kamala, reminds me of Elizabeth Warren, who everybody thinks Elizabeth Warren is this badass in, you know, this in petite clothing who goes after the bank presidents and scolds them during committee hearing, you know, usually male, white male. It's all about identity politics, right? But when you call them on identity politics, then they act like, you know, what are you talking about? Like the whole thing with Elizabeth Warren lying on her application and for jobs in academia saying that she was Native American. But who, who cares? This is my point here. Don't get baited by identity politics, okay? Like I said uh, about Kamala, having a Jamaican father, yes, he has a black, what we call black, origin. Do not get caught up in debating this with people. Like I said, unless you think that the person you're talking to, who maybe you know very well, would actually care about those details. But you see what I mean? Um, calling her a DEI hire, yeah, I mean, that's actually true, but it's, um, 
it's seen as mean spirited by the other side. And I'm really trying to unite. It's damn hard, I'll tell you that. It is hard. Now understand, I do not whitewash the truth. I don't change it. But I am kind to people on the other side because I want to end the stranglehold that the transnational criminal organization, some people are calling Leviathan, has over our country and our world. They've always hated our system. They go back generations, okay? Whoever they are. But I want to end this identity politics division and division over truth. We know that each side gets triggered by other sides. I just, you know, she was picked according to Joe Biden's actual, you know, report. She was picked because he wanted to have a black woman as his vice president. My friends, do you think that it's hard to make to crown the first female vice president? Of course not. Now she is technically black. She identifies as black. She has black ethnicity. It's multiracial, biracial, whatever. But again, we know it's not hard to pick someone. Stacey Abrams thought it was gonna be her. Do you guys remember? Joe Biden was like, Stacey Abrams was on CNN and then Joe Biden came on and and I could tell she thought it was going to be her. And then he just totally crushed her hopes. Like, you got to understand, remember when Biden passed over the black woman in the receiving line very recently? He didn't even notice her. It's not just that one event isn't really something maybe that would wake someone up. But all of the events put together would. The people who talk about race the most care about it the least. And you can tell when the three ring circus changes. So Kamala was very authoritarian in her committee meeting for the uh, selecting the Supreme Court justices, like Justice Kavanaugh. And people thought she was a badass, like Charlemagne the God, who, what, who has a morning show in New York, uh, New York City, called The Breakfast Club. And he's the one that Biden said, if you have trouble deciding who to vote for, me or Trump, you ain't black. That was Charlemagne. Now, Charlemagne uh, acts very skeptical of Democrats as well as Republicans, but really he just has TDS. Trump derangement syndrome, which I also suffered from in 2016, but I recovered. I am a survivor of TDS. Yes, and I can show you how. <laughs> Facts. So, you know what? This is what I'm saying about Trump now. Take a comedian. Take a comedian, all right, who isn't very attractive, okay, and their whole shtick, right, is that they say mean things about Christians, pro-life people, whatever somebody happens to agree with, but they like him. They really, really, really like him. If you flip that over like a logic proof, okay? Trump is, he was, he used to be attractive. He's not attractive now, really, no. But, and so people can pick him apart physically fairly easily, right? I mean, who would wanna have this kind of skin like all the time? <laughs> just kidding, it's the filter. But um, no, I'm just saying like, I have friends who said, I don't him because of what he says. And I say, absolute bollocks. No way. No. Mm, poor connection again. I'm going to wrap this up. So, because I didn't get to post the last one I did and I'm being repetitive. Um, and so, if, if Trump said everything these people agreed with, they would love him. And um, we have to look at our own trauma and what we project on a people. So, he's a disruptor. Uh, that assassination attempt was absolutely bizarre. It did almost seem staged, but not by Trump, because who would put themselves out there to take a bullet like that, that would get that close? And we have a picture of the bullet because the New York Times photographer had a camera that was set at one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed. Just think what the picture would have been like if he had died, if the bullet had actually gone into the brain. It's, it boggles, you know, the mind. I. Uh, what we what we had that we're okay we're not in fighting each other in the streets right now i don't know if we'd be fighting each other but it would be a much different timeline i'll tell you that so anyway if you have any questions for me like about trump or anything i've been studying him for eight years if anyone's just curious now because of the events but do not underestimate kamala harris she was terrible with policy and leadership but she sticks to the script 
She almost got implicated in that whole Juicy Smollett scenario. Jesse Smollett, when he hired two Nigerians to put a rope around his neck like they were going to lynch him and pour bleach, pour bleach on him. So she was kind of, there was a little bit of a connection there. Um, she definitely like amplified the outrage after the fact when it was a, an attack in January in Chicago um, that everybody knows was fake. Um, because the Nigerians testified. <laughs> so I see you. I see all of you. Thank you for joining uh, and for your consideration. And, you know, I'm just here to unite. I would, I would not take the bait about Kamala's racial makeup. Who cares? Yeah, she's considered black in this ass-backwards culture where we still talk about black and white. And you know what? Again, it's the people who pander the most, who are the most afraid of black people. Like the fact that we still call it black and white, unlike the rest of the world, is bizarre, don't you think? So don't get caught up in this. Find some new facts, do some research, do some homework, watch my videos, read my low battery, read my articles. Um, I have slaved away, literally, for eight years, sacrificing every minute I had to find actual facts. I've been vilified, I've been, you know, cut off, slammed, publicly shamed, all, everything, okay? But we have to unite, okay? There's no other choice. There's no way out of this. I know people think that, may, you know, they'll fight if it comes to it. No, I get that. But this is an information war. So we're not living in 1776. We're not living in 1860. This is an information war. And I've been shadow banned and suppressed, but my website, which is www. or http colon forward slash forward slash or s in there too, back to facts plural dot com. I'm also on Facebook, X. I'm on X, and there's a lot of stuff on X. I don't post it anywhere else because there's a lot of stuff that is on X. Um, YouTube, Rumble. I've done deep dives into a whole lot of issues. I used to be for gun control. I now am not. I'm pro 2A, like the whole freaking thing. The climate change lie, the lie about immigrants. Uh, you know, Kamala says, it's funny. The way that Democrats come up with solutions is, they go, well, I just have to say right now that not one man, woman, or child in this country is going to be denied health care. Oh, thanks for saying the obvious. Because, of course not. Hospitals will always take you. However, smart people in government are going to realize, well, wait a minute, uh, we either need to bail out the hospitals, which they already did, give millions of dollars for those who cross the border illegally who have used our health care, um, or we need to come up with, like, why are they coming? Is it legitimate? No, it's not. I've done many articles on that. It's not always legitimate, okay? Yes, a small percentage, but when they're all... Fighting age adult men? I don't think so, guys. Flying in, being recruited on social media by the cartel, which is an absolute fact. I've done articles and I've done videos on this. We have to think comprehensively. Unlike the people now rallying behind Kamala Harris because of their TDS, Trump Derangement Syndrome, which I am, of which I am a survivor. Um, unlike those people, we need to look at all three rings of the circus or more, whatever they are. Step above it even if you can just see yourself rising above it. Engage when you can, but be kind. It's not that you're a pushover. I'm not a pushover, trust me. I just wanna win, all right? So please, join my channel here, follow, subscribe. Join me on YouTube, I need help. I'm severely shadow banned. I have broken major stories. You'll see them on my website. Take a look at the Facebook rules committee that got, that got formed when, uh, after January 6th. It's, it's, it's being managed by a law firm that actually helped Facebook to evade taxes after they moved to Dublin, et cetera, et cetera. Like, these are the real facts that our minds hunger for. We're hungry for these facts. We can't sit here listening to the dribs and drabs over whether a roof is sloped or the guy like a now that said he looked up the JFK assassination. Stop, everyone just fucking stop. Sorry, excuse my French. Christopher Ray is a clown. He will always say it's an ongoing investigation. Now there's two separate investigations and he can't tell, oh please. 
We got to get smarter than that, okay? And help our fellow countrymen, family, friends, whatever, to get smarter. And the, talking about Kamala's identity politics is not going to work. She's going to start coming out and people are going to think she's a badass. They're already doing it. Because she went back into Kavanaugh hearing mode. Got it? All right, please uh, let me know your comments. Now, this time, I'm going to try not to uh, lose this recording like I did last time. Mwah. I'll see you soon, okay? Above all, keep calm and share complete facts. Bye-bye.